In the totalitarian state of the Soviet Union under Joseph Stalin, artist Felix Limbersky walked a dangerous tightrope. Like so many creatives, Limbersky produced public socialist realist works that showcased an idealized vision of socialist life and glorified the achievements and goals of the Soviet state. But away from the censor's watchful gaze, Limbersky painted abstract visions of a deep personal truth, one born of unspoken tragedy and an unflinching mission to restore humanity to victims of a brutal genocide. Yelena Limbersky, his granddaughter, is the author, together with her mother, Galina, of the memoir, Like a Drop of Ink in a Downpour, Memories of Soviet Russia. I would uh, see some of his work in Leningrad, uh, in the exhibitions. I would see them in uh, public buildings on display. Those were his realist works, but in my home, there were paintings uh, that could never be exhibited in the Soviet Union. And so guests uh, would come to my house uh, to see these works. They would walk in quietly. And I remember the sense of reverence um, and the sense of importance when they were looking at this art. Someone would ask, can you please show by the ER? And everybody would get up and watch it in silence. I remember asking my grandmother, what does Babi Yar mean? And when I asked that, she looked at me and I could see, I could see something in her eyes and she was silent and she turned around and took the painting away. She never told it to me about Holocaust. Born in 1913 to a Jewish family in Lublin, present-day Poland, Felix Zembierski's journey as an artist was deeply intertwined with the tumultuous political and social currents of his time. Like many other Jews, Zembierski lost his parents to the Holocaust. But in the repressive post-war Soviet landscape, survivors like Zembierski could not openly mourn or even acknowledge their profound loss. In 1945, Stalin banned the discussion of Holocaust. A million people um, died during the war in the Soviet Union. Their loved ones was never told uh, what had happened. At the end of the war, my grandfather was looking for his parents. He wrote to agencies for displaced people. He wrote to the Red Cross, and he received the same answer. Missing, location unknown. No further information. Limbersky's quest for closure birthed a series of hauntingly powerful works created between 1944 and 1952 under dire threat of state repression. Limbersky's Babinyar paintings memorialize the horrors committed at Babinyar, where a Nazi massacre claimed over 33,000 Jewish lives. These paintings constitute the earliest artistic representations of the Holocaust. Felix Zimbersky's works focused on the humanity of the victims in their final moments, as his granddaughter Yelena observes. What is striking to me about this painting is that Zimbersky doesn't show fear or terror. He doesn't show inhumanity. What he focuses on is this moment in these people's lives, perhaps their last moment. They support each other. They come together as a community. They, they hold each other. Somebody is covering eyes, perhaps reading a Shema. Um, people are protecting their children. They're protecting each other. They're the most alive and human in this moment. Limbirsky's unflinching depictions of the Holocaust faced absolute and heavy-handed censorship. This was the time when Yiddish uh, writers members of the anti-fascist committee were executed, murdered, and prisons. The Jewish schools were closed down, theaters, publishing house, everything was shut down. There was very strong street anti-Semitism. It took tremendous courage to talk about the Jewish subjects. He had that courage because she could not, not think about this loss. Yelena's grandmother, managed to emigrate to the United States and to remove her husband's extraordinary collection from the USSR. Following the collapse of the Soviet Union, 
the three women worked together to exhibit Felix Limberski's work internationally. American Jews and Israeli Jews, uh, the Soviet Jews, joined together for the fight to let Soviet Jews uh, emigrate. The reason uh, I'm here today, the reason these paintings are saved and can be exhibited at the museum is the success of that movement and its origins are in the fight to recognize Holocaust. Felix Lemberski's story reminds us of the power of art to reveal truths that repressive regimes try to erase and silence. Today, as we gaze upon the canvas of Felix Lemberski, we bear witness to more than strokes of paint on canvas. We bear witness to a legacy of courage, the courage to remember.